Why do itchy ears never seem to go away? Why do my dog's ears smell horrible even after grooming? Floppy-eared dogs are no doubt adorable, especially when they are puppies. But these dog breeds, like Cocker Spaniels, are very prone to ear infections because the ears are not open to fresh air and are prone to trap water and bacteria. However, dogs with lots of fur around even erect ears are also prone to infections. Chronic ear problems can rarely be solved just by topical or oral medications. These are short-term solutions that eventually leaves the dog in pain and discomfort, plus with an ear stench which owners find disturbing. A dog's ear consists of an L-shaped canal. The vertical canal, or side wall of the ear, is cut off so that water and bacteria will not be trapped in the ear to make way for ventilation and drainage. The dog is put under general anaesthetic. The ear is shaved and irrigated to remove debris. A rectangular marking is made to outline the surgical area, one half the length of the vertical ear canal. A cut is made on the outer skin from the tragus all the way down along the marked site. The ear canal is now exposed and dissected. The dissected ear canal is pulled down and the flap is stitched to the skin. The circle indicates the new opening of the ear canal. Topical and oral medication may be given for the next 1 to 2 weeks and an e-collar should be worn for about 10 to 14 days. Most owners have reported that their dogs have no recurring ear problems after the surgery. Did you know that even hamsters, cats, rabbits and other pets can get ear infections? So do look after your pet's ears and go for regular checkups at the vet every year. <laughs>